What's up everybody, Tony here with iTech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Umi Digi Power cell phone. This particular phone comes in black and a champagne color. I got this off Amazon and it's about $140. It is a budget cell phone, but it has some pretty good specs to it. We're going to go ahead and check it out and see if it's worth your time. And if you guys like this product and you want to check it out, I will be putting a link in the description below. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use that link because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So let's go ahead and check out the specs on this thing. So it does have a 2.3 gigahertz Helio P35 AI processor on board. It comes with Android 9 Pie. It has 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. You can also put two nano SIMs in here or you can use one nano SIM and a micro SD card that can be uh, up to 256 gigabytes. It has a whopping 5150 milliamp hour battery that which should last a long time. It's got a 6.3 inch full high definition plus uh, display 2340 by 1080 pixels. The back camera is 16 megapixels and it also has a 5 megapixel camera. The front has a 16 megapixel and it's also capable of uh, working with GSM carriers in the US. As you can see here are all the LTE bands that it can accommodate. I have LT um, I'm sorry, I have T-Mobile and I believe it uses bands 2, 4, 12 uh, and I think that's it for these particular bands but it's enough to get LTE. This, however, does not work with CDMA um, carriers such as Sprint and Verizon, so uh, just keep that in mind. And it also comes with an 18 watt uh, quick charger. So let's go ahead and see what you get inside the box. Okay, so here we have a, a thank you card. And here is the phone itself. Go ahead and pull that out. Oh, wow. It comes with a case already on it. That's pretty nice. It's got a pretty nice uh, little case on it. It's got like that, like that soft plastic texture on it. It's your fingerprint sensor. We'll go ahead and put that off to the side real quick. See what else you get in here. There's your SIM card eject tool. And you got your manual. And here's your 18 watt quick charger. And here you have your charging cable, and it is USB Type-C, which is pretty nice. Okay, so here is the case. It's pretty flexible. It's like, it's not really rubbery. It's like a more of a, a plastic slick, it's more of a slick plastic feel to it. But it is nice. I mean, it's not much, but it is nice that it comes inside the case to help protect your phone. You know, I'm not going to fault them for that. Anytime you get free stuff is always nice. It's got a pretty nice back. It's like that matte finish. It's nice and smooth. Doesn't feel cheap. Feels pretty good in the hand. So let's take off the top here. So it is worth mentioning that underneath that first uh, plastic layer, there is an actual a thin plastic screen protector on your screen to help get you going. Two pluses, you get a case and a screen protector. You can't say that much for some of the high-end phones that you get. It definitely has some nice weight to it. It feels nice in the hand. Just get your power button, your volume rocker, your little SIM card tray right there. Got your USB Type-C headphone jack. And your speaker. That feels good. I like that. Feels nice and slick. Let's just go ahead and power it up. So even if you're left-handed, you still have access to the volume buttons and the power button. And if you're right-handed, the buttons are right here on your thumb. Your power button, your volume, rock, volume rocker. So you pretty much have access no matter which hand you're using, which is quite nice. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up, put the SIM card in here, and let you see how well it works on the T-Mobile network. And just to show you guys what this looks like, here is the SIM card tray. It has like a little metal uh, bottom to it, so it sh actually shows you 
um, where each one of the SIM goes and if you wanted to use that micro SD card. Okay guys, so here the phone is pretty much set up. This is what the stock um, launcher looks like. It's got some news if you swipe all the way to the right here. And then here as you can see it's got the Play Store in here. And it's running a pretty stock version of uh, Android Pie. So it's not all blo full of bloat and it's not heavily themed. It's just pretty, it's stock Android. Uh, as you can see, I do have, uh, there's voice over Wi-Fi and there's voice over LTE. If I turn off my Wi-Fi, like I told you before, I am on T-Mobile. It does have support for 4G LTE on T-Mobile. I'm in my basement. I have a horrible reception, so that's why uh, it's not looking too good. It's almost, you know, two or three bars here. Um, but like I said, it does have support for the GSM carriers, not CDMA like uh, Sprint and Verizon, but it has support for AT&T, T-Mobile, those kind of uh, carriers. So, um, and then for as for the storage, it uses up um, probably about, I'd say maybe around eight something gigabytes. I'm installing some apps and stuff in here. So as you can see, um, it's only 15% used right now and you have about and I have 50 some gigs left. So plenty of storage that it comes with. And like I said, you can also expand it up to 256 gigs, which is super nice. It take the screen takes up almost the whole phone. It's got like a little chin here and that teardrop uh, camera up top. And it also has like iPhone-esque um, gestures. So if you swipe up in the middle, it'll take you home. If you swipe up on the right, it'll take you to your recent apps. As you can see, it scrolls through uh, the apps, no problems, there's no stuttering. And then if you swipe up on the left here, it takes you back. So let's go ahead and let you hear what the volume sounds like. It's, it's pretty loud, it does not have stereo speakers. It has just the bottom firing speaker, but it is uh, pretty loud here. Not bad, it's not gonna you know blow you away, but it is does have a nice loud speaker on it. It also has face unlock in addition to the fingerprint sensor. As you can see, you set up your face unlock right here. Uh, we'll go ahead and lock that and we'll see how the fingerprint sensor works. One, two, three, yep. Okay, so let's try the face unlock here. See if I can show you so it's not, I'm not using the fingerprint sensor. Face unlock works pretty good. The display is at 100%, so this is pretty much as bright as it's going to get. I mean, it's fairly bright. It's good enough for inside my office here. It is uh, pretty bright in my office as well. I'll go ahead and do some tests outside how to see what it's like in the sun. Here we have your camera. So let's see how the color reproduction is here. That looks pretty good. I mean, here's the plant and that's the picture of it. Another cool thing, it has call recording. Start recording. And the other really nice thing is uh, if the screen is off and you just touch the uh, fingerprint sensor here, it'll turn the screen on and unlock it. It also has a uh, raise to wake. So you just raise it up, you look at it, and it unlocks. Uh, this does not have tap to wake, so you can't wake up the screen by tapping on it. Okay, so now that I've had a chance to use this for about a week, uh, I, I wanna tell you everything that I think is a plus and some things that I kinda wish were a little bit better on this phone. Uh, one is the support for LTE bands in the US. I'm on T-Mobile and it definitely had support for the uh, 4G LTE. All you need to do is make sure that your provider uh, has the LTE bands that this phone supports. Check those out, look at the LTE bands that I showed you in here, and if they match up, you have support for the LTE, which is super nice. It also has a support for dual SIM, and it is unlocked, so you can use this phone for pretty much any uh, GSM carrier. You just, like I said, you have to make sure that it has the LTE bands for your provider. So you can either use uh, two SIM cards or one SIM card and an external uh, SD card to expand the storage on that, which is another uh, great feature on this phone. The other really nice thing is it is not made of plastic. So that's a nice feature that you won't find on some of the other budget phones. Usually it's a, a all plastic body and this one's 
uh, all metal so you know that it will be durable. And it also has that USB type C, which is really nice because that's the latest and greatest and you wanna see that on a, a phone, especially on a phone like this. Now, as far as the uh, photos and videos that this takes, um, they're good. It's not super great because it's not a high-end phone. It is budget. It's a 1080p uh, phone, so it's going to take 1080p pictures. It can go lower, but that's the max that it can take. So here I have a couple clips of videos that I've taken and also some photos that I've taken with the phone. Color reproduction is pretty good. Uh, like I said, video is also good. It's not super great, but it'll definitely work, especially because it's a budget phone. Now I also got to try out the Android Auto for this in my truck. That also did work really well, never had any problems with the GPS. The GPS was uh, always accurate and it, uh, the Android Auto was always working. So if that's something that's important to you, it's definitely going to work on this phone. Now as far as the security goes, it, ha it does have that fingerprint sensor on the back. It's, it's nicely placed right in the middle. So your finger kind of just rests uh, exactly right in the middle, which is always really nice. And it also has uh, face unlock, which works pretty well. Uh, it, uh, it works uh, pretty quickly. It's not like the fastest, but it definitely works uh, very well, especially uh, in low light situations. As you can see in this video, uh, I did use the face unlock in my room where I did have the light off and there was just a little light coming in from the uh, window and the you know adjacent to where I was and it still picked it up and If there isn't enough light there is an option on here to where you can have the light uh, Light up your face and it will it pretty much always unlocked for me uh, So that worked really well so you can use this in a dark environment or if you want to use the uh, Fingerprint sensor on the back for that that also works really well, too And fingerprint sensor is definitely pretty quick now, as far as the sound goes on this, it does have the one bottom firing speaker, but it is quite loud, uh, especially if you're in a room where it's really quiet. It is super loud. I actually had to uh, turn it down because it was so loud. And that's, not de that's definitely not a bad thing. That's a good thing, especially because it only has the one speaker. So the sound should definitely be loud enough for you, especially if you're watching you know, YouTube videos or if you're, you're on speakerphone with somebody like that. Now another really nice thing uh, that you see on some of the other premium phones are the screen the screen to body ratio, which is really nice on here. There's vi there's barely uh, any chin or any any borders on this phone, and the camera is just a little teardrop. So you get that nice big screen on the phone, uh, and like I said, there's not a lot on the sides either, uh, which is really nice to see. Now the screen quality, it is a 1080p screen, but um, it looks pretty good. I, I actually would rather it have a 1080 screen because it, it actually extends the battery life. The higher the resolution of the screen, the more battery life it uses. And for a screen this small, 4K, you really don't need 4K on a sc small screen like this. 1080p works fine, especially for uh, everything that you're probably going to need to use on this. Now, as far as the screen responsiveness goes, it is super responsive. Um, really quick, I didn't have any lag whatsoever you can quickly scroll through all of your apps and then if you need to you know go through your um, your recents like that pretty smooth too so I didn't have any issues with lag or anything like that so the screen responsiveness is pretty good now as far as battery life goes this thing is a beast it comes with a 5,000 milliamp battery uh, and it it pretty much will last you probably two days with some light usage. Uh, as you can see in the picture here, I did charge this up fully and I had about six hours of screen on time and I still had 32% left. Um, and it pretty much went, it seemed to go down uh, about 10% an hour. So, and that, that was with me watching YouTube videos straight. That was straight YouTube usage. Didn't turn the phone off at all. I just watched YouTube videos straight uh, on Wi-Fi. So with lighter usage, you can definitely get this to go even, you know, like I said, probably two days without charging up. Uh, and the battery life is really great on this. 
call quality again, it does have that HD uh, sound quality, especially when you're on uh, phone calls, you can use the voice over LTE. And I never had a drop, I never had any issues, could definitely hear people clearly, and I never had any issues with them hearing me on the phone as well. So call quality, definitely a plus. Now a couple of things that I wish were a little better, they're not necessarily deal breakers, but just something I wanted you to be aware of. And one was the brightness. Uh, brightness, really good inside the house. Uh, good outside when the sun's not really shining, but it only goes up so high. And when you're in direct sunlight, here's a little video clip that I took so you can see what it looks like at full brightness in the sunlight. Like I said, it's not necessarily a deal breaker, but it is something I just wanted you to be aware of. But like 99% of the time, the screen brightness is definitely plenty bright for you to see, especially when you're indoors. The other thing is, is the vibration motor. It's very light. Um, some people may not um, even feel it if it's in their pocket. Again, I really don't care about the vibration. It's not really a huge deal to me. Um, I just like to use the notifications and the sounds, but if it's if it's on your uh, desk or something and it vibrates, it will make a little, you know, a little noise. But if it's in your pocket and you're kind of walking around, you might miss that. Uh, notification if it's just on vibrate so so that's pretty much it guys if you guys are looking for a nice budget phone uh, that has some pretty good specs on it this is definitely one I would say you're gonna want to take a look at so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if it did give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos thank you guys for watching I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one later <laughs>